In part one, chapter two of Coming of Age in Mississippi, school ends for the summer, and Essie, Adeline, and Junior spend their days sitting on the porch or playing in the woods while Mama works. Their uncle Ed takes the children on a surprise visit to his home, where Essie discovers Ed's younger brothers, Sam and Walter, are white. She's even more puzzled by the equal treatment her siblings and the white boys receive from Ed and his sister, Alberta. When Essie asks her mother about Sam and Walter, Mama gets angry and avoids Essie's questions. Mama gives birth to another boy, James. His father is a soldier. The family is visited by the soldier's mother, Miss Pearl, who Essie says resembles and acts like a slightly tanned white woman. Miss Pearl takes James, saying Mama can't afford to raise him. The family moves to a larger house in the town of Centerville. Essie, now six, is in charge of watching Adeline and Junior. And after Junior accidentally sets the house on fire, the family moves again. Mama is now doing domestic work for a white family, and she brings home delicious leftovers. Essie wishes Mama had a nice kitchen of her own. Raymond, the soldier and James's father, begins to spend more time with the family. Mama visits and cares for James, but Raymond's family dislikes Mama because of her dark skin and three children and wants Raymond to marry another woman he's seeing. Essie is growing in self-awareness. She's taking care of herself and her family and learning tricks for survival. And she's discovering how she relates to the people around her as well as where she fits in in social hierarchies. Much of her understanding of status and group identity is shaped by race. She notices her mother is nervous and deferential around light-skinned Florence and Miss Pearl, even accepting their authority to raise her baby. She knows white folks ate different from us and their food and facilities are better. Any opportunity her family gets, and the countless ones they're denied, seem connected to race. She's beginning to notice how class intertwines with race. The lighter your skin is, the wealthier you're likely to be.